What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today, oh my goodness guys, we have got to talk about the new refurbished Prophecy Dungeon weapons. There are some brand new god rolls available to acquire that in my opinion are literally god tier. So, first of all, we have to talk about what all of these weapons share and that is a brand new origin trait. So, it is actually going to be called Crossing Over and what it says is is this weapon has increased range and handling for the top half of the magazine while the rounds uh, for the bottom half of the magazine deal increased damage. There's a couple of interesting uh, features about this origin trait. So actually, when you have a new Prophecy Dungeon weapon in your hands, you'll actually see in the left corner of your screen, light to start and this means that it's doing the top half of the magazine effect so you're getting that increased range but then as soon as you shoot half your rounds you're going to see that buff change from light to dark which is pretty sweet and then you will start doing increased damage now how much increased damage well really not much in fairness you can see it is actually going to scale up so normally on light um i am doing 2024 damage for a body shot against a red bar and in that same environment once i cross over to dark you can see 2064 damage and then it's 2066 2069 so it's actually going to keep scaling up similar to high impact reserves and on the very last round that is actually going to deal a 2084 damage so after breaking out the calculator, that's going to work out to be a whopping, a massive 3% uh, increase in damage. And that's for the very last shot. Uh, for most of those rounds, you're looking at a, a 1% to 2% increase in damage. So it is very minute. However, if that increase in damage is applied to the base gun, so you get that 2% more damage, but then you're in a well. So that 2% bonus damage is scaled up by, you know, 30% or whatever, and then you also have Rampage, like, because there's a lot of ways to increase your gun damage within Destiny 2, that 2% increase in damage could work out to be uh, more like a 5% effective boost in overall damage, depending on which boosts are calculated first within the game engine. But that's getting into the minutia of things. Overall, it's, again, pretty minor but hey, a damage increase is nice. Moving on from there, let's get into those god rolls because oh my goodness, again, there are some juicy ones. So starting things off with one of the new weapons, the Prosecutor Auto Rifle. This is actually going to be a precision frame, so 450 rounds per minute arc auto rifle. And if you look at the perks, the thing that stands out to me is Dragonfly in the left column. That is not the most common, and so that means you can get Dragonfly plus Volt Shot or Dragonfly plus Frenzy and just have an ad clearing monster of an auto rifle. And if you don't want Dragonfly, Rewind Rounds is an amazing PvE perk as well. So pretty impressive there. Moving on to the darkest before, Rapid Fire Frame Pulse Rifle. This actually changed from Arc to solar now and the arc version was a popular weapon like this thing could crank whenever rapid fire frames were uh, meta within pvp especially but now you can see it has those solar perks so it can actually get heel clip in the left column and remember heel clip actually got a buff with this new update that just came out so it's going to heal you with cure times two plus incandescent so you're going to be healing yourself based on the enemies killed and then lighting everyone on fire with incandescent that's pretty darn good um heal clip plus kill clip it, it can actually get which is an absolute wombo combo as you can imagine and if you don't care about heal clip i mean subsistence incandescent is going to be fantastic as well and then if you do want a pvp roll however Really not too much insane going on here, like Elemental Capacitor, maybe, but uh, yeah, m mostly we're looking at PvE rolls, definitely. Moving on to the Sudden Death, that is an aggressive frame, so 55 rounds per minute, um, now Void Shotgun, so this thing 
has got those PvP god rolls in mind. I mean, it can get a threat detector, which is becoming a lot more popular within PvP, and it can also get slide shot. So sliding is gonna reload your weapon, boost the range, and also opening shot. So the slide shot, opening shot combo, already very good for PvP or Threat Detector opening shot for kind of a more traditional role, and Barrel Constrictor up at the top actually got a buff as well. And if you don't want any of that stuff, I mean, it can get one-two punch for uh, PvE roles maybe, but overall, some saucy, some very, very good PvP shotgun roles here. Then moving on to the Judgment. This is now a Stasis a hand cannon. It was previously kinetic, and it belongs to that adaptive frame 140 rounds per minute archetype so it can still get what i consider to be the previous pve god roll of demolitionist plus timed payload um i think if you're using a hand cannon in pve it has to have either explosive payload or timed payload because the explosive damage is infinite range like so you can shoot a guy across the map and kill him in no problem if you don't have that it takes like 20 shots to get a kill with a hand cannon pve uh, on, a, on a long range guy so amazing role but i think what you have to notice is that um head seeker is here in the left column that is very uncommon we normally see head seeker in the right column and so that means you can actually run head seeker plus timed payload a, a little bit of a non-bow because the explosive perks are going to take away some of that what would be precision damage and make it explosive damage but i still think that's going to be fantastic or you know um you can have head seeker plus multi-kill clip head seeker plus uh, adrenaline junkie like having head seeker in the left column is very very interesting and also extremely unique now aside from that guys the pvp role i mean it can get slide shot again so slide shot opening shot is going to be a doozy slide shot i a storm even or even again you have that time payload it's going to mess with your time to kill but you're essentially going to be flinched twice one for the shot one for the explosion and some people swear by timed payload now moving on from there for the relentless now this is uh, one of the new uh, it's going to be a strand pulse rifle high impact frame here guys so 340 rounds per minute taking a look at the overall rolls uh, nothing absolutely insane here like it can get desperado so something like outlaw or rapid hit or keep away plus desperado it can get hatchling it can get head seeker there's definitely some good stuff here but nothing like kind of blowing my mind compared to the other weapons and then we're gonna end here guys with what is probably gonna become overall one of the most desirable weapons from this entire dungeon moving forward, and that is the Adjudicator. Now this is going to be a kinetic precision frame submachine gun, so 600 rounds per minute. These are in a very good spot within PvP right now, or I mean, they certainly w were before this update. This update massively changed a lot of the balancing uh, within PvP, but still, uh, it can get for PvP. I mean, it can get a dynamic sway reduction. It can get rangefinder in the left column. Definitely an uncommon thing, uh, but it can also even get threat detector as well. And then in the right column, you do have target lock. However, that was nerfed just uh, this update. But you also have Fragile Focus. Remember, Fragile Focus got a massive buff. It, it doesn't break the range boost until you've completely uh, lost your shields. So Fragile Focus is going to be incredible with, you know, Dynamic or any of those other perks uh, or the more traditional Rampage if you want to damage boost guys this thing has some insane range 56 base range so you can really really uh, i had one of my teammates actually just because they got full bore plus accurized rounds they had 92 range and that was without a masterwork i believe as well so yeah this thing is going to be a range monster here and then for pve i mean you can get subsistence plus onslaught or subsistence kinetic tremors right like those are going to be fantastic subsistence frenzy is amazing as well so really really fantastic weapon here with a lot of good pve and pvp roles yeah definitely prophecy dungeon is going to be worth doing like pretty much every single week to get some of these roles and it's not just good 
perks. It's perks that have a very unusual spots, perks that we don't often see in the left column. Like normally, we only ever see like raid weapons with something like dragonfly in the left column, right? So this is pretty exciting stuff. Guys, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.